The biggest challenges in treating GVHD are standard frontline therapy for both acute and chronic GVHD is um, steroids. Um, unfortunately, um, half or even less than half of patients actually respond to steroids. Um, and like I had kind of mentioned before, there's no real um, standard second line treatment option. It's kind of institution choice and there's a, several different agents out there that have, you know, decent data, not fantastic data um, for treatment. And so um, unfortunately, there's still a very high six month mortality of about almost 50% for patients that have steroid refractory GVHD. So um, the ability to have something um, that has a lot stronger response rates, um, I think is definitely a big breakthrough. So in terms of uh, ruxolitinib, um, so this one has um, not received FDA approval yet for GVHD, but it has received um, FDA breakthrough therapy designation for treating acute uh, graft versus host disease based on a couple um, preliminary studies um, that have come out. Um, the biggest one was in 2015, um, published in Leukemia, um, and that was uh, looking at um, patients with refractory, steroid refractory graft versus host disease um, across 19 different centers that received rexolitinib, um, and they had response rates of um, upwards of 60% with several patients able to obtain even a complete response and come off of steroids, um, with their response rates being most significant in skin and GI graft versus host disease. Um, there are several other studies that are underway, um, phase two and phase three trials, looking at um, using this in both acute and chronic uh, GVHD. So I think um, with the therapy, uh, breakthrough therapy designation, we'll expect to see um, hopefully an FDA approval soon, um, at least for acute, and then I wouldn't even be surprised if we see it for chronic. Um, as far as abrutinib, abrutinib in um, 2017 did receive um, FDA approval for treatment of steroid refractory chronic graft-versus-host disease um, based on a large study that showed 67% um, overall response rate, which is better than um, most other agents that we have for um, second-line therapy for steroid refractory GVHD. Um, and a lot of patients were also able to receive, or a small subset of patients were also able to receive um, a complete response and able to taper off of their steroids. Um, so that has recently been published in blood um, at the end of last year.